Good afternoon, everybody. Happy Thursday and welcome, welcome to class. Let me introduce myself if you haven't been in my class before. My name is Alex Cooper. I teach the computer classes at the Columbia County Library in Evans, the Heartland Library, and the Uchi Creek now Grovetown Library. Yay, we got a brand new Grovetown Library. So, of course, we're all staying safe and everything, so we're doing virtual classes. So this is one of our virtual classes. So welcome, welcome. And we're going to be doing Introduction to Google Cardboard VR. This is something that came out a few years ago, so I thought I'd touch base a little bit and kind of talk about some of the, the newer features that it has. And still, it has such a very cheap uh, cost to get started with VR becoming more and more popular. I thought this was a good topic to cover. And we talk about it some in our Google School class, and this allows us to go a little bit more in depth about it. And I've got my my holder right now for my cell phone, so we're going to be talking about that a little bit too. And I got my little controller too, so we'll be talking about all kinds of fun stuff. This is a little bit of a, a different class. We'll do a little bit more of a walkthrough, setting up our our camera. Excuse me, setting up our cell phone and our Google Cardboard per se. 
uh, device. Then we'll talk about different things you can do. We'll talk about VR videos through YouTube and how to turn that on and control that. And also we'll talk about some games and other apps that they have too. And a little bit beyond uh, Google Cardboard too. So while everybody kind of comes into the classroom and stuff. So welcome to class. Welcome, welcome. Very glad that you're here. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. It's a good safe idea. Something fun to do with the kids. Good, very, very, very glad y'all are here. Mac and Jane, very glad that the Jane group is here too. All right, so let's go ahead. First course, while everybody kind of comes in the classroom, I'll definitely let you know that, um, let me do that one. There we go. Definitely let you know kind of my classic thing I like to say is definitely feel free to kind of post any questions that you have into the chat. And the big thing, of course, is how can I help? Okay. Um, so it may be a little bit of delay, so do realize I'm happy to answer any questions you have. Let's go ahead and let's talk about some of the classes that we have coming up the rest of the month. This is October, of course, so we're doing some fun Halloween stuff. We're going to be doing stuff like um, creating a next week. We're going to be doing a Internet shopping and digital couponing class, kind of getting ready for the fall and everything. We'll be talking about uh, Black Friday and stuff. And then on the 21st, we're going to be doing a gadget help. And come join me for that. Uh, call into the Harlem Library to set up your scheduled time and they'll give you more information and we'll be doing that again on the 29th as well so um, on the 21st we're going to be doing a Halloween stuff with scratch basics uh, let's make a spooky card and dance party we've already done that class once but since it was the first time doing it now we're going to have some new ideas so we're going to do some different stuff to and add on to what we have did before as well so the 22nd, come join us. We'll be doing Let's Make a Fun Halloween Card. And then on the afternoon, 22nd, we'll be doing some Python coding. We're going to make in a scary spot the difference prank game. So come join me for that with some Python coding. And uh, the, uh, yeah, so come join me for that. 22nd and a lot of other fun uh, Halloween themed stuff on the 27th, 28th and the 29th as well. We'll be doing a little bit of coding with Unity, making an amazing robot game and some Raspberry Pi projects. Uh, have you ever seen those things where they you have like a doormat that you step on and then it makes a sound and you always want is like, well, I wonder how we can I can make one of my own. We're gonna turn our Raspberry Pi whoopee cushion that we usually make in class into a fun, random, spooky noise trap. So that's what our goal is, okay? And join me on doing that on the 28th and then 11 o'clock a.m. on the 28th we doing uh, the, the Python coding and then on the 29th we'll be doing the zoom with Alex and on the 29th in the afternoon we'll be doing one kind of a big encompassing thing we're going to be doing let's make a spooky game Ooh. so come join me for that little side note here I do know the big talk at, in town in the library and stuff as we switched over for RB Digital for free audiobooks from your library free ebooks now we switched over to the Libby app I've po I've done a class on this and also it's in the app swap class that we did earlier today too the biggest hurdle on this is you already need to have your library card download the Libby app the big question is people say does my d d device support uh, will my this work on my device? Well, you go to the App Store and you should be able to download Libby. And if you can't for some reason, then it may not be supported on your device if it's an older device. The big thing is don't search for Columbia County or Harlem or Grovetown Library. Search for great when it says uh, what is your library. Search for Greater Clarks Hill Regional Library System. Uh, when you type in Greater Clarks Hill, it should pop up and then choose Georgia Download Destination and then enter your library card and then you should have access. Our libraries are open with limited services and hours. No uh, study rooms and no in-house uh, in classes or anything. That's why we're doing our stuff virtually. Staying safe 
and curbside holds pickup is available. You can check gchrl.org for details. Call into the library with questions Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Don't forget to like us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're currently doing a subscribe drive. If you click, if we can get 100 subscribers to our YouTube channel, we'll get our own custom address. Or you can search YouTube for GCHRL videos and it'll pop right up. So let's go on back here. Like I said, this is a little bit more of a kind of a free form class. I'm going to pull up websites and we're going to talk about all kinds of neat things that we can do with our uh, virtual cardboard. And I'll pull up some different apps and stuff. Now, the interesting thing, of course, is that <laughs> trying to show exactly how this works when it's kind of a one person. I remember um, uh, just a few years ago when it first came out, I got one and we did a, a uh, class about tech, tech stuff to buy for the fall, which we usually do kind of a class similar to that. And one of the things was I did bring this in and about two or three people got to try out, you know, being in the ocean, doing some VR stuff. So that was pretty fun. And of course, the, the low cost is what we're big thing that we're going to talk about today. Okay, so let me go and ask who has used Google, uh, the Google Cardboard before, because it, it's kind of specific about what the name is. And if you're watching this on a replay, this is kind of one of those things of, uh, if you do come to our classes when it is um, uh, being recorded live like this, then you do get, the course, the benefit to ask questions too. All right, so let's go ahead and I'm going to – so we're going to be talking about all kinds of stuff. So let me go ahead and drag this over there. And let's go ahead and get started. Okay. So, what exactly is Google Cardboard? Okay. And I'll disappear so I'm not in the picture as much. So, basically, Google Cardboard, it can start out with just a simple piece of cardboard. There are ways that you can get a very, very cheap kit. Okay. Uh, I will tell you this, and the interesting thing about it, this being something that's any, it seems like anything that comes out has come out for just a few years ago, um, gains popularity, and then it becomes a little bit cheaper to use, or you can get some hand, uh, secondhand stuff. I know I got mine, I think it was $15, uh, like at a Walmart or something, and it came with a little controller uh, with it as well. Uh, the big thing is, uh, let's go ahead and let's talk about uh, getting, let's we'll start with the, the cart first. How about that? So basically kind of getting started with Google Cardboard. Uh, basically the idea was that Google knew that the new cell phones had the, um, I'll think about the name of it in just a second, but the new smartphones could actually uh, tell exactly which way they were turned, kind of their space of where they were, and it allows some apps kind of like your night to, uh, nighttime, looking at stars and stuff, apps to work where you kind of pull up your device and, and hold it. Uh, the accelerometer is in there. There you go. Accelerometer is in there, kind of like a, things that came out when we had the Wii. <laughs> With the Wii remote are now built in our cell phones. And what kind of things can we do to basically use that? And they basically came up with an idea of breaking off the, the screen into two places, kind of like this. And then you have lenses here that kind of make it look bigger, okay? And it can help focus it as well. And if you have just something really cheap next to your face, um, you can actually see the, the things in 3D. Now, I will tell you this, so the official Google Cardboard is as cheap as uh, $15 here uh, from them. And of course, there's a whole bunch of other companies too that will actually sell them and it can go into details about screen size and all that. Mine is plastic, so mine kind of is, has a universal clamp. Like I said, I got mine officially uh, about two, three years ago, and I have a good time with it. 
Uh, the big thing about it is uh, you pr basically it's something when you have it, you have it. And as long as it fits your current cell phone or whatever, you're probably good to go. I, and there was even one that Mattel put out. Um, let me see if I can show you this. I thought this was really cute when they announced this. Of course, can you remember the, uh, oh shoot, oh it's loading. Well, that was not helpful. Okay, apparently it's not on their website right now. Anyway, so it's a view, it looks like a Viewmaster, and the idea was that Mattel was going to make it look kind of like those old uh, double 3D pictures and stuff. All right, so you can start out very little or very cheap here. And you can technically make your own. So getting ready for this, and I still actually had the plastic on the front of it. There was actually no reason to, to, to take that off. So this one's mine, okay, and it had, the big one is it's plastic, it has the strap on it, okay, and then it has some nice cushioning in here, so if it's something you're going to watch for a little bit, okay, put it right on there. Now, I do know that a lot of the more expensive uh, VR things like Sony, uh, PlayStation VR have come out, Oculus and all that. And that's why I wanted to kind of go back and kind of point out that you can do some VR stuff kind of on a cheap way of doing it and to kind of get you interested in it. And it's a great educational tool. Uh-oh, did I say the word education? Yeah, I did say the word education. It's a great educational tool as well. So let's go ahead and let's go back here. The interesting thing is the cardboard one from Google actually doesn't have a strap on it, which was interesting. So you'd have to kind of you know hold it like that or whatever now I did want to show give me one second because I usually have a video with some school kids um, learning about it so give me one second On. I'm not seeing exactly what I wanted. Give me just a moment here. No. Okay. Okay, so I think that's what I want and I wanted to show so this kind of started off as uh, We cover a lot in the Google school and then Let me zoom out a little bit Let's see Is it the same? Okay, it's loading. Come on. Okay, I thought so. Okay, so this is a little different than this website. That's kind of interesting. Okay, so this is a little bit, I think this site explains it a little bit better than where I was before. So if I kind of, you can see the lens in there and you can kind of see some of the pictures here. And you can see how it kind of splits the video in two. So you can kind of control it. And this is kind of a little bit of a, uh, and I'll disappear if I'm, so I'm blo blocking anything. A little bit of a preview of all the things that you can do. Games are in there, immersive experience, using smartphone and a VR8 app, games, videos, Google Cardboard puts you in a stunning environments that stretch out all around you, travel the world, experience outer space and more. No matter where you look, it's as easy as if you're really there. There you go, works with your smartphone. Cardboard supports most Android and iPhone phones with a screen size from four to six inches. It also has an interactive click button that works with all 
uh, compatible phones. Now mine actually does not have that. That's one thing that can be a little bit annoying um, because either I have to slide out the phone to actually tap something or choose something on the screen, but uh, some of the apps I can actually use the little controller that I have too. So we'll talk about that. Clever, useful, friendly design. Uh, uh, cardboard uh, assembly. Now you do need the lenses on there, so that's kind of the, the drawback to this if you don't get one that's already pre-made or anything. And it kind of talks about our experiences a little bit. So here's the cardboard app, which I won't be able to really show, but I'm actually going to pull it up and kind of talk about it a little bit. So this is kind of the official cardboard app puts virtual reality in your smartphone. It helps you set up your viewer, find VR content, and launch your favorite experiences. So let's look at that. So this is the cardboard app that's taking me to the Google store. So I actually want to view, let's see. All right, so this is the this is the page for Android, and it's got some pictures on here. As you see, this is the the page for um, the iPhone. So let's kind of walk around a little bit here. So it does have some different apps that you can download. It has cardboard launch demos, and you can also see how it splits it in half here. So one for one eye, and one for the other. And they're a little bit offset, of course, so it makes it look like it's in 3D. And we can also see videos, and we can also look at 3D pictures as well. So Cardboard puts virtual reality in your iPhone. Google uh, Cardboard apps help you set up Cardboard Viewer, and including free experiences to get you started. Okay. So other than kind of having uh, the you know the starting the starting program here. This app is free. There are some games, of course, that may cost. Uh, basically, the cost is kind of free, and we'll talk about some free videos and stuff like that. Now, in a minute, we'll go to the, the VR YouTube channel, and also we'll talk about the cardboard camera a little bit. Let's go ahead and do that. Well, let me see. Let's go ahead and let's start talking about putting our, our camera together, okay? All right, I'm back. So basically, here's our little kit here. So I have my headset. I have the strap on it too, and of course, we can see that it does have the um, you know the goggles in there as well. So basically, with this unit, I just pull this out, and then I have my cell phone. Okay, it might be a good idea to put your cell phone so. Um, the screen doesn't go turn off after a minute or so. I've actually had some apps that uh, would start to go to sleep after a while. So basically, we pull our phone up, we kind of push it up a little bit, and it kind of locks in, sp in place. Okay. And then, of course, it'll tell the time on it and stuff. So here's the, my, what I have on there, and I'm actually going to start. So we kind of have our 3D things going on there. All right, so take this. It only goes in one way and has a nice little slot here on the side. So I basically take that and then let's let's switch it to hold on. Let me turn the sound off here. I might actually be able to hold it up a little bit. So give me one second. I'm going to get it 
like do a video, which I am going to talk about later, of course. So just give me a moment here. Okay. Of course, it plays commercials because <laughs> it is YouTube for free. All right, so hold on. Okay, so there's our video with our two uh, things kind of playing at the same time, okay? And this is a 361. I'll talk about that in just a minute. So we put it in there. And you can already tell by, by using tilt, you can actually look around, okay? And right now it's uh, riding a roller coaster, okay? So... It's interesting because it's kind of looking behind me, which is funny. So you're right there. So let's go ahead and let's slide it in. Yep. Only goes in one way. And then if you need to, I've already adjusted it. If you need to, now it's actually going to be showing like the back, I believe. You can adjust the the sections up here by by pulling these back and forth, okay? By making the lens a little bit closer, kind of like binoculars, okay? Now, if you let's see, I'm not sure what you can see exactly. Yeah, but it's going around the thing. So when I hold it to my face. Oh, there we go. We're going down the roller coaster. And it is a video. Okay. Woo, now we're going upside down and stuff. So if I look to the right, I can actually see the seats. And I look see the front of the roller coaster. If I look to the left, I can see the other seat. And of course, I can look up and see the sky and all that kind of fun stuff. Okay. So that's really the big thing because it has the accelerometer inside uh, the cell phone. And if you're doing a game or anything like that, which we're going to talk more about that in just a second. So basically just kind of a, a quick introduction of putting the putting it inside. Okay. Now there are some features. I had I'm I'm not I don't really use those features. I'm not really too um, I guess to say knowing about that, but this actually has a nice little cover. So in case you wanted to use uh, one that used uh, some a feature that uses some augmented reality. I actually actually haven't used one of those But maybe I can play around with that later. I think there was some kind of deal where you could do some kind of zombie game It would be like this. It would show the real world around you uh, Taken in by the camera and then it does augmented reality where it looks like zombies and stuff like that. So Or I'll just say monsters some of that and that's really about it. Like I said, the biggest thing is if you're watching a video, and of course it looks like it's, uh, it looks like it's, you know, full screen. You know, depends on how how big your screen is. Of course, the roller coaster now is going into the station. It looks like um, a ginormous screen, and you know, or it's just a little cell phone. Okay, so that's really the main thing there. The strap. Of course, anything that look, that kind of takes us away with goggles or whatever, I always feel like it's a little bit silly. But let's look at our what we see on here. So if we let's see, click it to replay, I think. No, oh no. Mm, no, not what I want you to do. Hold on, Mr. Phone. All right, it might be pressing one of the buttons on there, so I might have to take it off here. Okay, now, and I'll talk about that a little bit later. So that's really uh, putting the unit in. Like I showed you some of these. That are on here they're the the kind like this so they kind of clamp in there okay 
or they kind of sit the phone and it has the kind of the split view going back and forth like that. Let's see, Max says, how much cardboard is needed to make uh, to make one? Uh, I actually, I would not recommend that. I think it doesn't really take much. There is a website that does give you instructions and I think it's on, let's see, I will have to look that up, but it's just cheaper to go ahead and because you have to get the lenses anyway. So you'd still need lenses even if you just had a piece of cardboard, okay? So we talked about getting cardboard. I not don't think, because this is like their pre-made kit. And the big thing is it does have the, um, the lenses in there, okay? But the price can be fairly low. So it's kind of a fun uh, thing to do. Now, let's talk about our next part. We talked about our, our you know, the, the game things that are kind of on here, the getting around, looking at that, and I don't have, trying to, so one thing about this getting ready for this class, the interesting thing was to try to think about what could I actually show versus not, you know, being in person and looking at something. So I can actually show some of the YouTube videos on there and you'll kind of get that. I can't really show the games on there because the games, of course, are on the device. <laughs> so trying to figure that one out has been a little bit interesting. And there are ways that you can actually set it up so you're just kind of watching it on, uh, you know, just kind of like on a big, big screen, okay? All right, so I don't mean to scroll that so quickly. Now there is a part here before we start talking about uh, the VR and I'll actually look at some of the other games and apps and stuff before we start talking about some of the other stuff. Uh, it does actually have a 3D camera. Hold on. Why didn't that load? Okay, hold on. Let me, let me look for it. There we go. So there actually is an app that you can download as well. And it kind of walks you up uh, actually taking pictures with your cell phone, okay? Using the cardboard camera app. Okay, I don't want to I don't want to go through all that. But anyway, it's on there and let's see if I can pull it up here. I thought I did have it on my phone. Anyway, you can actually record a 3D photo. I know you can do it with Street View, okay? With the Street View app, you can do that as well, okay? Okay, so I don't actually see the cardboard. Maybe they have discontinued that or gone to something else, which is interesting. Um, let me see. Choose the option below. Let's see. See VR images in your photos, okay? And have they really, they're really not doing that anymore? Maybe it's not supported by my phone. I sure thought I had it on here. Let's see. There's certain apps that'll say like uh, uh, camera 3D, 3D photo. So if this one isn't actually available anymore, there are many other ones out there. Let's see. 
also the Expeditions app by Google. Anyway, many, many, many other apps. So let's go ahead and I'm actually gonna see that. I don't think you'll have to, I think a, a pre-made one, if you did wanna try this out, uh, pre-made is a good idea. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's look at some of the apps that are available. Okay, and I'll pull up the Google videos and we'll look at that a little bit too. So there's many apps and it's showing it for there and I want to actually see the Apple Store too. So if I just type in um, you'll see here's the main app. There's also a lot of fun ones like roller coaster ones, Jurassic Park, let me see, which we'll talk about um, Google YouTube and how to set that. This is the one that is a street view. Okay, so it will actually let you record a full 360 degree photo as well, which is kind of neat. And where's the setting on that? And you can post it up for others to see it if you want to. Yeah, so capture 360 degree photo. Okay. And that's with the Google Street View. And as you see, there's lots of other virtual reality stuff on here. It's virtual skydiving. And even more. So a lot of really neat things to kind of play around with. And if I say, um, I believe if I just say VR, there's other a whole bunch of stuff like games. And if you see this logo, that means that it'll work with the um, Google Cardboard. Here's a racing game. Let's look at that. So as you see, it does the Google Cardboard, the racing fly over <laughs> things, all in 3D. Oh, Mysterious Island, Rec Room. I don't think that's the end of the search, but I guess it's the end of search or what they allow me to see. But there are a whole lot more um, on, the, on the actual store there. But racers, spooky stuff, house stuff, some fun Halloween stuff as well. Okay, so as we talked about some of that, let's do the, the Google Play Store and see what it says. So here we go, it's listed a whole lot more. The Apple has a ton of it. I don't know why their store wasn't showing a bunch of it. Um, I think my phone is actually downloading that one right now, which looks pretty interesting. Okay, so lots of different options. Ones that are like outer space, and there's the expeditions one, and that's by Google here. Taking you can do 360 pictures or view 360 things as well. Let's see, it's expeditions. Let's see. The VR player, fun games, silly games, supposed to be scary games.
is the animated rabbit. Let's see. Fun little videos from the person that did Madagascar. Let's see. Ooh, haunted stuff, spooky stuff. Let's see. Spaceship sharks. Let's see what the shark one is. Eh, just kind of floating around. Sharks. Ooh. Really neat. So, virtual ping pong. See how that works. A video? Oh, no video. So, lots of things to play around with. Most of this is free, at least to try out. And, uh,. <laughs> Here's something to, let's see, I might try and do something with a lightsaber. Ah, interesting. That looks interesting. There you go. Looks more like a tech demo. Okay, so lots of different apps to try out, lots of different things to try, adventures, spooky stuff, animated stuff. Here's VR theater, what is that? Oh neat, this is uh, an app that will play movies, let's see. Well, there you go. If you don't have a big screen, you can see a movie in big screen. <laughs> App has plenty of bugs, like they all do. Okay, so that's actually pretty unique. I guess you bring your own files for that, it looks like. But then you can actually watch stuff in like a, a big giant theater and stuff. Mm -hmm. Ooh, a spacewalk. Batman stuff. Interesting. Okay. So let's go into our next part here. Let's talk about some of the favorite things. And I don't know. So is that not available anymore? I guess that uh, the app. Let's see. No, I guess they've discontinued that, and they haven't updated their uh, their thing their um, website here yet. This looks like an interesting one. Let's see. Uh, I guess the phones have been, you know, updated, so they've kind of moved on to some other stuff, which is interesting. A Paul McCartney experience is available. Interesting. Oh, that just takes me to apps. Okay, so lots of different games that you can play, play around with. And I wanted to go ahead and where was the, I had a part that was, I want to show it's a little bit more educational focused. Mm 
Mm, hold on. Okay, hold on. Let's see if I can find the one I was talking about. Expedition. There's a really great one that we usually show in the Google school class. And I just thought it was just right here. So give me one second. Let's see, where is that? Hmm, it might be in the this one here. If I go here. Okay, so let's scroll down and is this the one? That's not the one either. Ah, oh, is this it over here? Okay. I think this is it. There's actually a um uh, uh, Google Earth VR as well. Now they will start to kind of plug some of the other things like the Oculus Rift, which is what this is. But they do have, do some of the stuff, of course, with our um, the cardboard as well. So let me go back. I don't want that to be too much. Here's the Expeditions one with our, there we go. That's what it was. Okay. So I have a little video here kind of focusing on augmented reality with our. You could pick anywhere in the world that you want to go. Where would you want to go? I would like to go to the moon. Thailand. Ancient Greece. India. To Nigeria, my homeland. One or maybe all of the seven wonders of the world. When you explore different places, you have the chance to actually learn something new. You want to be able to show the kids that there's something outside of your community that you could go to and learn from and that there's other places you can visit. All right, so let's do our objective and we'll talk about the lesson for today. We're going to take a field trip to Verona, Italy to see the place where Romeo and Juliet lived. I'm going to take you on this field trip under the water. Okay, you guys ready? Pick up your devices and look in your cardboard. What is that? Oh, I see a shark. Whoa! Whoa! It allowed us to go somewhere we wouldn't normally be able to go. Are we in China? This is the Great Wall of China. We got to see the place itself so we could actually understand what she was talking about. How long would it take to walk the length of the Great Wall of China? So much more enriching than just showing them a picture or just having them read about it. This device can actually make us go to places that we've never been before. It brings the lesson to you. You have to see it for yourself to believe it. There's so much other places to see, so you know that it's never going to end. So that's the Expeditions app. And they also do some augmented reality with that as well. So I'll kind of point that out too. All right, who wants to see a volcano? Three, two, one. Wow. Look at that lava, look at that smoke coming out of that. Pretend you're an airplane and fly over the tornado. That's the top of it. What do you see? It's either asteroid, meteorite. We're learning about DNA and genes, things that we can't see. And so the most exciting thing for me with the AR technology was that I could see kids get an aha moment that I 
couldn't get by just telling them about it. The minute I saw it pop up on the screen, it made me want to get up and walk to it. We actually get to turn around and look at things from all angles, so it gave us a nice perspective. See if you can figure out what that might be based on what you know about the respiratory system. I got to see where the alveoli branched off, and I could look inside them and see how everything worked, which I never saw before, and it was really, really cool. talks about uh, the kit for the classroom. My name is Ty and I'm 11 years old. I can hold my breath for 18.9 seconds. Because one day, when I grow up, I want to be a deep sea diver. I want to explore the Pacific Ocean. I haven't been for a swim in the sea yet. Today at school, something really fun happened. Morning class. Miss took us on a school trip. Today's lesson is exploring the world's oceans. But this wasn't a normal school trip. Let's come and collect one of these viewers and look inside. Whoa! That is amazing. Who spotted a shark? We visited the Great Barrier Reef in Australia. Wow, we're Whoa. swimming towards that. Look, there's a massive there. there. OK, what can you see? Whoa. There's a turtle. There's a turtle. Whoa. Are we ready for another adventure? Yeah. yeah. So now that's the situation where the teacher controls what the um, students see and create things like virtual tours and stuff. So as you see, it has some serious uh, backing and everything, and it kind of talks about how to actually set some of that stuff up. And for some teachers, they actually do have certain kits to kind of get them started and everything. Okay, so let's look at... Let me see, we covered that part, we covered that part. Let's go ahead and let's look at our YouTube uh, counterpart here. Okay. I'm trying to remember what, what that is. Give me one second. I think this was... I don't remember what this was. I think this might be the full 3D headset stuff. Let's see. Let's see. What? I'm trying to remember what that is. I don't know if this is with the cardboard or not. I know it's 3D. Look around environment. You could possibly use that, but I think they'd have to be an app with it, and I'm not sure if there is an app. But anyway, that's interesting. Which is some of the stuff that uh, Google is up to, I guess you could say. Is another place where you can upload your own 3D objects. Okay, so. I think this is about, they have a 3D, uh, special 3D camera that they're starting to talk about. And since we're just trying to focus on the cardboard, we won't talk about some of the other stuff like Oculus and um, you know some of the other things too, which are full 3D um, you know, VR headsets and stuff. But just trying to focus on the, the cardboard uh, part of this. Okay, so one of the big things is if you do go to you do go to YouTube and you set up your let's see Can 
should say VR and it should pull it up with me. Okay, so if you go to YouTube, okay, you type in Google Cardboard Videos, the big thing here is to click the filter, and then it'll actually show 360 uh, degree uh, photos, I mean the videos and everything. Now, when you're doing this with your cell phone, and basically you pull up uh, YouTube, okay, before you put it into the to the device here. So basically you search and just say Google key, um, Cardboard and then I do the exact same thing. I just go in and I change the filter. I tap the filter button on the top right and it will say 360 degree videos and then you go back and then that's where you find your your bunch like the roller coaster and a whole bunch of them on there because there's the full 360 uh, degree video so if I click that boom it kind of filters out um, everything else okay the other thing about it is once you start the video let's do let's see and we'll see which one we want to do we did the roller coaster a minute ago it's kind of a VR thing. Now it will play commercials because it is YouTube, okay? So let's give it a second to play the commercial. Yeah, it's working on it. Now, there's two ways of viewing the video, of course. And it's just generally playing it right now, and I'll click on it here. It's a 360 video, so let me show you this. So I know it's going to play a commercial, sorry. So hang on one second. All right, now, and I've muted it too. So basically, I'll, I'll pause it. We have our video. So because it's a 360 degree video, we can actually control it where we want to look, okay? So this is kind of unique. It's kind of like a flying in a spaceship or something. I think we'll do the ocean here in just a second. So if I hit play on the video, there we are. We're looking around the 3D environment, okay? We can even look down a little bit if we want to. Okay. I don't know why the spaceship is spinning around. That's kind of weird. But there's our spaceship. You can look outside. There's rain on here. You can look up and down. Okay. So we have basically a video here. Same thing. You know, we can tilt our phone this time to look around if we want to. Or you can actually use your finger to kind of swipe around. Now, if it's uh, cardboard active, you'll actually see a little button on the bottom right, and you tap that, and then, of course, it'll switch over to being able to be, let's see if I can get to do it. Anyway, so there you are. You've got it in the, the cardboard mode. And now, since you've got that going on, you can actually put it in the, in the device. Okay. And there you go. You can, you can do the full uh, Google Cardboard thing. 
Now you can't really hold this. I've even tried that personally. It's too blurry. <laughs> I know that's kind of funny. But if you don't want to do the other, then of course you can just hold it just like that and it'll basically be kind of like what we have on the screen. But hopefully what you take from this class is there is ability to basically watch most of these 3D videos. And is this a, here's a VR one. Commercial, sorry. Hold on, let me get. It's free, so we have commercials. And I thought I turned the sound off. Okay, so there's our full 3D roller coaster situation. Let me see if I can find one that is a. Something that's real, I guess you could say. Here's a skydiving one. Here's a roller coaster. Here's kind of swimming. Someone swimming. All right, let's try this one. It's the beach somewhere. A little bit shaky, <laughs> I'll tell you. So there's a nice beach, looks like someone recorded this, and of course, I can look around. Apparently, they have a special camera. Yeah, it's a little shaky. Okay, there you go. He's trying not to do it shaky, but he is a little bit shaky, I guess, because of the walking. And then there's our ocean view. Okay. Let's see if I can find the, a really, a really good one that's that's actually underwater because a long time ago I found one of those and that was fantastic. A lot of these are roller coasters and stuff. And some of them are handheld. Let's see, let me type in ocean. All right, it's playing a commercial, hang on. Aha, here we go. I found a National Geographic video. I think this is one that I may have uh, viewed before. Oh, commercial, thank you. So here we are, and we can kind of look around a little bit. So here we are, we're gonna go down our scuba diver here. We can look around any way we want to. And yeah, this is the one that's, that does change every once in a while. So just be aware it does change. Oh, I'm still here. Let me, let me disappear. So we can look down. We can see the coral. All the fish, see the little fish and stuff. Let's see, look around, there's the not very deep. Look 
looking at taking a picture or something. Let's see what it is. What is it? I don't see anything. Ah, it's like a time lapse now. Ooh, that's pretty. Gonna find some eggs. Okay, again, you can take this video and tell it basically the the cardboard mode. There we go. I thought so. Here they go out to the ocean. You can put it in the cardboard mode. And then it's kind of like you're there looking around. With your toy tools. Mm, now we're flying. Cool. We're on the wing of a plane now. Wow, it's beautiful. Diver. Always has a little bit of kind of a fish eye. You can see so much around us. Time lapse. There we go. Nasty Geographic. Here's our credits. All right, very nice. I guess we'll go ahead and end our class here. I hope that you enjoyed it. We kind of covered a lot, didn't we? <laughs> we kind of covered getting a, a cardboard, a Google Cardboard. Like I said, it's not very expensive. You don't have to have one of those really expensive uh, VR setups to be able to do it. Oh, now it's going to play commercial of hamburgers behind me. Thank you. Thank you. I needed that. Um, so not very expensive to get started. You just have a smartphone already, and it fits most of the devices. You can watch some of the things in 3D and stuff. So I think the really neat part would be to take your own pictures uh, in full 360 and then to be able to share them with other people in something like this I think that would be really neat to, to come home and say look I took a trip and I took a bunch of pictures and you know there you go and share and enjoy all right so does anybody have any other questions or anything <laughs> a 
give a moment to see if anybody does have any questions. And I think there is, yeah, okay. So there actually is a uh, designated channel on YouTube just called virtual reality and I thought that would pull it up quicker I just wasn't sure exactly what the it was what the address was I guess it's just virtual uh, reality and find this so tons and tons of videos <laughs> I guess it has links instead of uh, it, it's like YouTube's uh, promotion here so again you can go into the settings and here's a recently popular okay let's see something in Switzerland some kind of flight what is this Here we go. I guess this is some of the. Let's see. So are we riding with someone? Are they above us? Where are we? I guess we're just looking right now. Let's see if we can get up in the sky. Here we go. Look. We're taking a ride. <laughs> and <laughs> I guess they're trying to get up in the air. All right, let's see if we can fast forward to actually being up in the air somewhere. Oh, this is practice. Oh, it's a flight training. Interesting. Surely we can get up into the sky at some point here. Come on. There we go. So there we are. We are sailing along. There's our parachute above us. There you go. <laughs> Okay, well, thank you for joining me today. Hope you've enjoyed class, giving you maybe some good ideas on trying out some fun stuff that we can do at home. Uh, kind of while we're staying home, staying safe and everything, and exploring and learning something new and everything. So uh, I'll do a little bit of our out, uh, talk about our other classes and stuff that we have coming up. And then I'll see everybody on Tuesday. Tuesday. See on Tuesday. Are we are we landing? Let's see. Let's see if we can land here. Here we go. <laughs> Yay, we're landing. I feel like I should do some sound effects. See if we can see our feet. There you go. There you go. Good job. Good job. All right. Thank you for joining me today. Hope you learned something new. Look forward to seeing you next week for our classes on the 20th at 2.30. We're going to be doing internet shopping and digital couponing. The 21st at 11, we're going to be doing our gadget help on Zoom one-on-one, -on -one. so just contact the Harlem Library to set up a time for that. And uh, then they'll give you the information. And then on the 21st, we're gonna be doing, uh, well, in the afternoon, we're gonna be doing our Scratch Basics, Let's Make a Spooky Card and Dance Party. So that's gonna be a lot of fun. Our Halloween-themed uh, Scratch uh, coding classes. So it's kind of for all ages, so come join me for that. 
And then on the 22nd at 11 o'clock, we're going to be doing Scratch Basics. Let's make a fun Halloween card. And then on the 23rd, yeah, so excuse me, 22nd, we're going to do a Python Cody class in the afternoon. And then the last week, we're going to be doing a bunch of Halloween stuff, a Unity class, Raspberry Pi project class, Scratch, let's make a game class, okay? So join me for that. As you may know, of course, our libraries are open with limited services and hours. Curbside Holds Pickup is available. You can go to gchrl.org for details and call the library of questions Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Uh, make sure if you uh, don't forget to like us and uh, sub blah, blah, blah. don't forget to like us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Remember, we're trying to get 100 subscribers so we can get our own personalized YouTube address or just search YouTube for GCHRL videos and it will pop right up. So thank you for um, being here today. I hope you had a good time. It's going to get chilly, I've heard, this weekend. I know it's supposed to get a little chilly. Uh, in uh, Georgia here, we may even get down a little bit to 40 degrees. Someone said 50, 40 degrees at night. So it might be time to start a little uh, a fire in your fireplace and uh, stay safe. Yeah, but it's sunny right now. It's a good time to go out and go for a little bit of walk and stuff. So I'll see you everybody Tuesday at 2.30. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye. <laughs>